You're very welcome back. Our next guests are a power couple plucked straight from Hollywood. She's our favourite Bond girl and he's a surf musician whose albums have been produced by the likes of Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. To just drop just a, a few, name drop the a few in there, there yeah, while, while, while we're at it. Uh, <laughs> actress Jane Seymour and John Zambetti from the Malibus are joining us in the studio. But before we meet them, let's take a look at John's latest music video. There's nothing to say, only to do And when you find that your words have failed you I will be standing there next to you it's nice Oh, to be I have to say that video is gas because it connects you in a way that maybe yeah. our viewers mightn't be aware of. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, my son, Sean Flynn. That's not me. That's no. a... <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I did, did the music video. And yeah. he, he shoots lots of major bands and stuff. In fact, I before we just mentioned with your AI thing, if you want to check him out, Sean M. Flynn Photography, he's got um, a whole load of different videos and things. I love the one he did, but he also just did an AI one under the word The Nepos on YouTube yeah. called All Men Are Trash, which... You know, they aren't, OK? This is <laughs> no, a really good thing. But this is what you have. This call. is incredible. I just thought it was great. We just said, Sean, would you uh, do it? And he yeah. did. It was yeah, a it was great a, job. Yeah. Like, this man you have at the moment yes. now is in trash. Because you were, you were very much in the <laughs> first throes much. of love, the honeymoon period. I have rarely seen a more loved-up couple walk into mm -hmm. the studio than the two. Look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, we, have to, we have to stop doing that, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not appropriate. Not age-appropriate. <laughs> we actually, given <laughs> our <laughs> age, water shed, given yeah. our ages, we uh, we celebrate our anniversary every month. Every month. Because <laughs> it's like dog ears, you know. Sure, <laughs> we've got laughter. <laughs> your, your story of how we got together and your children were yeah. involved. Tell us about that. Yeah. Do you want to tell them? Yeah. Or well. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. You go first. No, you. Right. No, I love Ladies. you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we, saw me. Yeah, I saw. What happened was, I went to see my friend Rusty Anderson, who's Paul McCartney's guitarist. He was playing at a club in uh, Malibu called Dreamland, and I usually just don't go by myself. But he was playing. I wanted to support him playing with his band, and I figured, oh, what the hell? I'll go down there. So I go down to see him play, and I take a break to go to the gents, and I see her with two ladies, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm. <laughs> Why is she there all by herself with those two ladies? So I called my son, who was on tour in Europe, and I knew he was good friends with her son. Oh. Because growing up, my son was at her house like half the time. My son and daughter like had her house. They all and grew up then, in one another's house. Yeah, basically right. but we actually had never met. No, that's oh, wow. <clears throat> well, because he was very happily married for 43 years, and I thought he was happily married for 26 of those. <laughs> <laughs> but um, our children absolutely knew one another as, you know, Sean's mom or John's mom. And in our, in our family, almost everyone seems to be called Johnny. You're right. Yeah, his, <laughs> his son's a rock musician, too, um, in a group called The Palms. So his, he's Johnny Z, and mine's Johnny K, Johnny Keach. Mm. So they were all the, all the kids, they put us together, and uh, they had no idea that it would work out like this and mm. we've been together now very happily since. Like yeah. how, how did the first date work or what, what did you do? Did you go up and ask her out that night? Did you make well, the call What happened away? was is that is her son Sean and my son Johnny and the daughter Catherine have a mutual friend named Shwayze who is a Shwayze. rapper. Shwayze. Yeah. A rapper, yeah. It was a rapper. He had a big song called Buzz in a couple of years ago. Anyway, Shwayze happened to be playing the next week in that same club and, uh, and Shwayze is very close to her as well. And uh, so they said Shwayze would be at the club We'll give him a call, and he'll introduce the two of you, because Jane will yeah. be at the thing. So the he show. comes up to me and he <laughs> says, um, uh, "I'm told uh, 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 I think we're supposed to meet." Yeah. And I looked at him and I went, "Yes, we are," and that was it. Then the next thing I know, he's pretty much at the house with my family. My family have basically said, "We really like this guy." I go away for a week, leaving him alone with my family. He writes me a love song. Oh, oh, no, I wish I gave well, him my iPhone called A While. I think you put it up now, didn't you? Because did. somebody heard about it. Yeah, 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 I put it up on YouTube. And uh, that was before we actually got together. And by the time I came back, that was it. I was done and dusted. I mean, <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd two love songs. And I was, so I much was to unpack there. You, personally, you I left him alone with your family for a week? Well, I did. I we, did. Yeah, we, we, what happened is that, that night we, when we saw each other, she said, my goodness, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have a shoot tomorrow morning, and Shwayze will bring his entourage over to my house tonight. And I said, don't worry about it. He comes to my house all the time. Bring the entourage to my house. Yeah. You go home. She said, well, I'll be back at my house around 12, 30, 1 o'clock if you want to come for dinner. 
So I did. I mean, for lunch, and and we talked for about four or five hours. Then we came dinner. Yeah, then we had dinner. And then she and said, then my whole family arrives the next day. Yeah, thirteen my, of them. She said thirteen of my family is <laughs> coming <laughs> coming from England, and uh, and then anyway. she she takes off and leaves me with the family for a week. Oh wow! So basically, you landed at her house, and you pretty much have never left her side since. That's that, right. That's, that's pretty. pretty and then I told her, look, <laughs> I've, I've got to go and do Harry. I've got to do Harry Wilde in uh, Dublin from the, the middle of July to the end of October. And he said, I'm coming with you. I said, No way. Mm -hmm. You're not. And he did. And here we are. Yeah, here we are. I set up a little so studio now, there in my house. Now he's doing his house. music here. Yeah. yeah. So you've spent an awful lot of time in Ireland over the last four years. I mean, how do you, is there any favourite spots? Have you travelled oh, much of the country? Well, we're, we're, yeah. we're in love with Dorky, but yes, I would say Connemara, Galway. Um, I mean, all, all the, the the normal places. We went um, out to the Iron Islands. Went to uh, to Inishbofin. Oh, yeah, that Fantastic. was amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ring Kerry, of course. We've Wexford. Uh, I mean. Uh, Donegal. I've even been to Belfast and around there. Well, I've learned something very interesting about you that I didn't realise before that you can sing because, of course, your gig is coming up. Tell us about yes. that. And you're going to guest star in mm -hmm. it. Apparently. <laughs> we, 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 I do, actually. We I bring her up. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be uh, headlining the uh, the uh, Dunleary Music Festival. This is Malibu's. The Malibu's. Yeah. yeah. Malibu's. And on the this October 5th date, it will be at Pertie's Loft. And tickets are available. And we're going to have some guest people come in and uh, <laughs> no. join us. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be singing in there a little bit what's too. What's your party piece? My party piece. Oh no, uh, dancing actually. Oh, I'm, I'm oh. a bit. I, I'm an ex-dancer, so the, the, I like to to rock out and dance. The rest of the family are all amazing rock musicians and and music video makers and things like that. I I do the dance part, but I do sing some ooyos. She will, will she'll be, be doing a little. She'll be the I'll chick be, singer on our chick on one of our songs. She's she's done that before. <laughs> yeah, <I've done> <laughs> chick singer. <laughs> well, they, they they were inducted in the in the California Hall of Fame. That was it earlier yeah. this year or last right, right. year, and and they wrote me up for that one. So. After that, I figure I can yeah. do it. Now, you were Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, but you're yes. actually Dr. 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 Yeah. Real That's doctor. a strange coincidence. I'm a real doctor. She plays one on TV. <laughs> we argue, yeah, sometimes. We talk we argue sometimes, don't we, about what yeah. we're going to do with patients. And I thought I would perform an appendectomy <laughs> on her live on TV. To, yeah. We do everything do I, else in the show. Yeah, yeah, the robots well can happen. help you and maybe yeah. if you well, need to tattoo artists yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, he's a very fine emergency room um, doctor. Yes. Yeah. And has been for six years because his parents weren't sure that rock and roll was mm -hmm. the answer to uh, making a living. Right. He managed to do both at the same time. I went, how did you do that? And he said, well, if you're going to be a doctor, the thing to do is emergency medicine because you don't have to have an office. You never see the patient again. You save their life. Everyone's happy and you do it in shift work. So you can do a few months of that and then a few months <laughs> on tour with the Malibus. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. One well, thing I've always wondered, do you listen to music while you're in the emergency yeah. room? Well, I, you know, I was just like, you know, staying alive, staying alive. You know, I, to easily, I usually sing a little bit while I'm, or, you know, am I blue? No, you just a little bit. reassuring for your patients. That's what I keep the two. So, listen, you're a very handy person to have around. I'm very handy, very handy. You can serenade her, sing her songs. If you collapse, you can help her there. I mean, you've kind of struck gold at this point. Oh, That's 100%. what I think. <laughs> I keep you telling you that. Agree. <laughs> I, I know, but like, but you, you mentioned earlier on that, oh, we, we shouldn't be behaving like this at our age. But, I mean, there is so much age and when it comes to finding mm -hmm. yeah. love and finding perhaps the love of your life even after uh, how many years. I mean, what do you say to people who, who believe that? Well, I, I just think it's ridiculous. You know, I mean, inside, you, most people are kind of a 30-year-old trying to... <laughs> we're, yeah. we're just not necessarily trying to look like that at this our age. I mean, I'm not <laughs> going doing all the stuff that everybody else is doing. I, I, Her and face I, still moves. My face still moves. Yeah. <laughs> it's rare. That's why I think I'm working all the time. And I play all the way up to 85. Because you need your expressions. Comedy. Yes, yeah. I think so. But I, I think the thing is that, um, you know, we've, we've got kids. I've got grandchildren. Uh, we're both still working. He's still writing music. I was saying this morning how lucky we are that the things we have a passion for in life, we're doing, you know, at a pretty high level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm working all the time, uh, filming and... and uh, so busy and, with and Harry Wilder. doing his yeah. music. Yeah. And, and, yes, Harry Wilder is amazing. And so, um, you know, we, we're, we're just incredibly grateful that we can have a relationship and do what we love yeah. at the same time. Mm. Yeah. What can you tell us about that new season of Harry Wilde? Go on, give oh, us all fantastic. these guys. It's better than ever. Joe Spain, as you know, is off the charts, and Dave Logan, who created it. Um, Fergus and Harry are up to all kinds of new stuff. I can't give it all away, but the, it, it, it's, it's the best season yet. I mean, it's pretty much unbelievable, because every time you do a series, you think, oh, it's going to be up here, and then it's going to dip down. This one's just going up and up. It's sold all over the globe, all over the world. World. I mean, 
I'm so proud of it. You know, if I'm not doing Dr. Quinn, I must say, you know, doing Harry Wells, quite different. But the Harry, the Dr. Quinn fans have fallen in love with Harry. Mm. Yeah. A bunch of them are actually flying in from Germany and France to come and be possibly be in it. But wow. perhaps they fall in love with you rather than Harry because they're such a fan of your work, which I, I guess you could understand. <laughs> I can indeed. Well, I th you know, I'm hoping that, and even talking here on the couch, that people out there, especially women out there, don't give up. Yeah. You know, a lot of women give up when they're 40 or 50 go and they go and hide under a rock. I mean, no, yeah. get, break out of the rock and be the person that you've always wanted to be and have fun. Yeah. And you never know, you might just meet somebody that wants to have fun too. <laughs> you can write your love songs. Write your love songs. <laughs> and save you if you have a heart attack. It's actually perfect. <laughs> Maybe at the same I'm time. Listen, you never want to this has given me hope, let me tell you that. Anyway, thank you so <laughs> yeah. both so much for Absolutely. joining us on the thank show you. today. It's been an absolute delight and best of luck in the gig. I think we should crash that gig and just to hear so. yeah. the... Oh, and crash, crash uh, my son Johnny Keach. He's on at Wheelands on Monday. Oh, I should crash that yeah. as well. You can get the whole family. You can get the whole family all the Johnnies. And I want to mention the new cafe orchestra will oh, be yes. opening for us for yours, some of the best area. musicians we've got richie buckley who's a van sax player uh Dresden derrick who's played with uh with the chieftains yeah. some really great people playing over for us and we right. may do a little guest thing with them in the middle of our set too so it'll be right. fun this sounds right. like it's going to be a mad yeah. night and a great session. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And we're definitely going anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a reminder that tickets are still available if you want to see this. Uh, John and his band, the Malibus, at the website, dunleerymusicafestival.ie. Now, still to come this morning, it's time for Robot Wars. Myself and Brooke are going head to head after this quick break. You might want to stick around just in case. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got my WT.